Hello everyone. On Cooking with Wick, we are going to be making my take on French toast. We don't have brioche bread, which I would like if we had. We we're using the wheat bread you can get at the stores. Brown sugar. The imperial sugar is the recommended brand. Vanilla. And ground cinnamon as with an egg, and so you need an egg wash. And in my pan, we have canola oil, which we're gonna fry it. So let's get started. First, we crack our egg. It's recommended to do it on a flat surface as we preheat our pan. While that's going, we add cinnamon, vanilla, and some brown sugar which at the same time, brown sugar has some molasses in it. And while that's heating up as well, we slice our bread. I like that and make French toast slices. Should be like this right here. Then we beat our eggs until they're about fully beaten. And we make sure we get everything mixed in. Oh, um, don't forget to add the salt. Salt always boosts the flavor. Just a pinch. The oil is heating up. I have a deviated septum, so I really can't smell it. But you know, do a test by dropping some egg in it while I have my dry mat, or not dry mat, but drying area right here to do with the grease. Since after we're done. You're gonna have to dry it, well, at least get rid of some of the grease as you do so. Now you Now, you should be able to feel the heat, and sorry about dropping it earlier. This video is going to be completely unedited since I don't have an editing system. And due to that, we 
We have our oil heating up. We have our egg wash about ready. And while we do that, we get rid of our trash right here, discard that. In a few minutes, or it should be ready. Make sure you do a quick switch on each side before you dump it into the oil. It should be about fully covered. See all that goodness? Then you put it in the oil. Same as before. They should have a distinct sound when they're finished. Right now, like the oil is working, but if you want to check out the bottoms, you could. Though that might just add more time to it if you do that. Should be light brown. As you hear when it starts dialing down on the bubbles, it's about ready. First in, first out. So first one you put in is the first one you flip. Then we are going to go to the pantry, get the meat the maple syrup ready. Assuming it's here. Oh, there it is. We're going to be using the Cracker Barrel maple syrup. I like to heat mine up when it's done. Here's the bottle we're always using. Make sure you use the same, the one that's open first. Now it should be like this when it's done on both ends. So, get our grease catcher, technically. Put this out of the grease. Very quickly. Two slices. Oh, sorry. So it's four slices or two slices of like whole slices of bread. We 
put it in the egg wash that I absorb some. Take it out. Still recommend you get the brioche. Brioche is a lot better. The brioche is a butter based French bread. Very good. It's also recommended you clean as you go. For instance, I'm finished with this bowl. Since I can't really show much since I don't have a actual... And you add some soap. Pretty much we have a white dish soap. Put in there. And once again, look for the distinct sizzle. When it stops sizzling, it is done on one, one side. See? First in, first out. I know this video ain't gonna be the best, but until I can get my equipment, or if you all have any equipment to donate, give it to me, but if you don't have any to spare, it's okay. I've been looking at ways to DIY it. If you listen, there's a distinct sizzle it's been making when it's done. And how do I know it's also done as well? See that goldenish color? That's a sign. See this? The golden brown? It's also a sign. Make sure when you're done to have the heat turned off and remove it from where the heat was so the pan can cool. Now we're gonna warm up the maple syrup soon. Once again, we are using the Cracker Barrel brand. This is on both sides. Very good syrup. Very good place to eat at. If you like country style breakfast. Place isn't too expensive. But it's very good. When you heat your syrup, get a small glass container, and a container, holder, like as if you would separate your ingredients. That way, when you have it held in there, but make sure it's only 15 seconds in the microwave. You can already tell when it's heated up by it bubbling. That and it's not recommended you use the microwave on a lot of your foods. Because the microwave has a very huge tendency to destroy most of your products that you make afterwards. It ruins the flavor, ruins everything. It's 
quite decent. You can still cook with a microwave, but most kitchens that you would see, home cook or not, it's not very common to see people cook with a microwave. This is what it should look like when it's done. Now, we add some maple syrup on a few. Pour them in there. Besides, we can always drain it. Good chef always tastes their products. Because if I won't eat it, you won't. You can taste the cinnamon, the molasses, the brown sugar. With a good maple for later when it's done. Feel free to try out my own recipe or family's recipe. Have a good day and thanks for watching.